So there's a phrase, what we call the big rocks. Now, what are the big rocks for Leah? They're the big basic things that, that you can do in, I suppose, any pursuit that you're doing in order to get to the end goal. So let's talk about fitness. Obviously, turning over the big rocks are highly beneficial when it comes to pursuing changes and improvements in your fitness, particularly as we get over 40. And off the top, there are five reasons why. One, it's it's the efficient use of your time and energy. In other words, you focus on the big rocks, they allow you to prioritize what is the most impactful factor in your fitness journey. What this also does is it helps save you then time and energy by avoiding any unnecessary distractions or stuff that is less effective. Number two, we talk about greater psychological impact. So up here, so when you age, your body undergoes various changes such as decreasing in muscle mass, right? That naturally happens, hormonal shifts and a slower metabolism, albeit it shouldn't have to be that way. So addressing the big rocks will help you get that back and optimize your psychological functioning and also leading for a more noticeable improvement in your fitness. Thirdly, let's look at the overall health. Big rocks encourage us to Look at things like lifestyle factors because they have a profound effect on our overall health, not just the fitness thing. So when we prioritize those factors such as we're getting in our nutrition, we're doing the right, getting the right sleep, we're managing our stress, we're looking at things like preventing chronic disease, you know, the diabetes, the hypertension, the stuff that happens to us as we get older, we then promote a longer term view of our well-being and therefore reduce the risk of those age-related health issues. Fourthly, look at prevention and joint health. Over 40, the risk of us with injuries and joint problems seems to increase. It's what I simply call the slip, the trip, the break your damn hip. When we focus on the big rocks, such as proper form, mobility training, and stability training, and adequate recovery, we help minimize the risk of that injury. And therefore, joint health allows us to then get on and live an active lifestyle. And lastly, but not the only one, sustainable long-term progress. Nothing is a 28 days. We're, we're not here just for a month and that's it. We're targeting a long-term approach. So that's where the big rocks come in again. You establish solid foundations for those long-term progress and also being sustainable, keeping it going. These are fundamental aspects of fitness, such as you do strength training. There's a level of cardiovascular fitness. Now, I'm not anti-cardio. It's just how we do it. So daily steps are good. There's a little bit of conditioning and I'm pushing a limit. So for my VO2 max, I want to look at mobility, not necessarily flexibility. I don't care if you can put your feet behind your head, but can you do that in a stable environment and therefore also balance? I've said this before, the slip, the trip, the break, a hip. We do all these and we get a strong base on which you can build and maintain your goals. Now, for those of you that get those five things and want to do something about it, well, I'd actually like to introduce you to the Big Rocks approach that I'm doing in my current training. We're working with myself, with Chris, with Gabe, and with a few others. It's, there's no more pills, no more potions, no more magic lotions, all that marketing type of stuff, just the facts, no hacks. And what I want to do is help you help turn over those Big Rocks. So if you're interested, I'm after five people. I'm after five people to come in. I want to pilot a new variation of the training that i've been working on with the guys in the background so if you're interested please below just do me a favor big rocks type it up if you're interested you're not gonna have a bit of a chat find out where this is for you so we're going to do some strength training we're going to do some cardiovascular work because we need the ticker to be working as well too we're going to look at your nutrition but I ain't going to have you calorie deficit. I ain't going to have you eat like a rabbit and barcode scanning macros. We're not going to do that. I'm going to simply show you some simpler approaches that you can do to start that. And when the time comes, the tracking, the scanning, the particular diet, the fasting or whatever, we'll work out when that's appropriate for you. There's some, let's call it mindset stuff. I like to call it mentalized, but headspace, right? What does it mean? Can you do it every damn day? And I don't mean a 90 minute workout every damn day. I don't mean smash yourself every damn day. I simply mean, can you progress forward every damn day? If you're interested in that, then simply Big Rocks goes down below. And I want to look forward to hearing from you. Let's see whether or not we can do something this month. Cheers.